number one Iron Age booty daddy. Ladies and gentlemen, the long-awaited second part of the arc is here. Ladies and gentlemen, I have Isom 2 in my hands as well as Isom 1 in my hands. That's right, because this is going to be my spoiler-free review for all of you out there. And never you fear, I will hopefully have my thoughts collected because I did take a bunch of notes right here. They're just bullet points to keep me somewhat on track, and hopefully I don't give away too many spoilers or any spoilers because I will be doing a spoiler review because that's what I like. I hate spoiler-free. Spoiler-free is for Canadians. But anyway, ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so much for being here. And if you guys like what I'm doing here on the channel, please like this video, subscribe to the channel, and ring the notification bell. Awesome. Now that all the YouTuberisms are out of the way, let's get into this. Guys, I started my review with Isom 2, and the only place that I could think that I should start this review in Isom number one. That's right, I cracked open Isom number one, and I reread Isom number one, and then opened up. Isom number two, and kept reading the story to see if it actually felt like a continuation from the first book. Considering that this is part of the ill-advised arc, I think that that is important to do, seeing that Eric July has said this is a three-part story arc, so basically these three books are gonna be like, I don't know, consider it like, you know, um, the Lord of the Rings. You know, we're gonna have the Fellowship, now we just got the two towers, and now we're waiting for the return of the king. So that's one of the best ways. So, I started with Isom number one and reread that, and then jumped right into Isom number two. Now, if you guys would like to see my review for Isom number one, I'll have it pop up somewhere over here, or it'll be in the description. You'll, you'll find it, you'll find it. But, what I did find out is that the story does continue right off the bat. So one of the things that I noticed immediately is that we get introduced and reintroduced to characters in the very first few pages, uh, being Isom's sister and Darren Fontano. Now, in this, uh, Darren actually got to be a little bit of a better character for me. Um, I'm starting, you, you got to see more of Darren Fontano in the book, and I'm gonna, and I'm gonna start my review with him because I had the most problems with Darren Fontano in Isom. And in fact, as I read the book tonight, which I'm only about in, I, I don't know, it took me about an hour and 15 to read uh, to read these and you really kind of soak up the second one. Um, but yeah, I, I still had my problems with Darren in the first book, although I'm starting to see his consistency of character uh, because we got more interactions with him. And so I'm starting to feel like Darren's more of a character. I think once I get the third part, because I, like I said before, I'm committed to all three of these. Once I get the third uh, part of the ill-advised arc, I think Darren Fontano, if, as long as he's in that part, uh, will make a lot more sense to me than in the beginning. And then maybe, just maybe, my feelings for my someone will change. But overall, Darren Fontano got better for me as a character. Eric did something in this book that uh, he's swinging for the fences, and I, I wonder if he's going to be able to pull it off. He opened up a lot of new story threads and continued with, well... He continued with a lot of story threads that opened up the world a lot more. Okay, um, I, I'm, I, I, it's an ambitious goal for sure, and I think that is part of the reason that he introduced so many characters in the first book because you actually get a bunch of new character introductions in this book as well. Uh, two predominant characters that um, I really, really liked, and then some more minor. Um, some more minor characters, some more side characters that aren't necessarily as predominant, but I can see with their introductions, um, they're probably going to serve a. That they're probably going uh, to serve a much greater purpose in the remaining story. Let's talk about character introductions. I had a problem with some of the character introductions in the first book. For instance, I had a problem with uh, the character introduction of Yaira. I had a uh, problem with the character introduction of the Alpha Core. I wasn't even the biggest fan of Isom and his character introduction or Darren Fontano's character introduction um, in the first book. Uh, now that's the first book. Why do I bring up the first book? Because, well, I can, talk about it in this book. I have no issues with any of the character introductions in this book. 
the new the new characters that he's bringing in some of the characters we actually i feel like this is where we got introduced to the alpha core right i actually okay we're starting to see their dynamic a little bit more we're starting to get to understand them a little bit more um Yaira, still a mystery, so for the fans out there, but I really do think that he is obviously, you're going to find more out about Yaira in Yaira number one. So overall, character introductions were handled well. He expanded the world a lot, um, definitely is continuing on some of those threads. There's only one thread in the first book that I didn't feel was continued here, and that was... Uh, Let's see, Lillian, Renashi, and then her counterpart where they were introduced in the bar, but that's, uh, we'll get into that a little later in the spoiler reviews. Overall, um, we got to see Isom and the reason that he retired. Perfect, to be perfectly honest, um, yeah, it's a better reason than I thought actually I was gonna give him my action. I actually, that makes sense. I, after seeing the reason that Isom retired, I was like, oh, that's, oh, I get it. I absolutely get it. Um, I understand a lot, um, the internal dialogue for Isom and Avery Silman in this book was a lot better than the first one. Um, I don't know what criticisms that Eric July took in his writing uh, and whatnot, but the dialogue felt a lot better. Uh, it wasn't perfect, there were still some word choices here and there that I'm like, mm. and there may or may not have been a couple of typos that I saw, but I need to... I need to reread it to make sure that I'm not just making stuff up in my head again. You guys have seen me do videos where I made stuff up. Boy, that was bad. People are still commenting on that one. Anyway, uh, overall, it really, really did feel like Isom was more of a character in this book than the first one. Um, and I liked it. I liked him a lot more in this one. I definitely felt like he was more personable in this one. I definitely understand his reason for retirement, and he doesn't come across as just such a jaded a-hole, which is really nice. Um, to be perfectly honest, I, I really only had one issue, and it was some of the dialogue. Some of the dialogue of the characters, I'm just... Word choices, specific word choices from a few different characters. I'm like, eh. and there was a, there was more of it in the first book, but that's and that may just be something that as the books continue on and I continue to purchase the books, uh, maybe I'll just get used to it because it's how he wants to talk in his universe, right? Um, overall, the at the end of the day, what is my rating for this? I have a very simple rating. I have a buy or do not buy. Uh, is this thing? Oh wait, no, I said I didn't do the one thing guys the paper quality in this is just as good as the paper quality that you got in the first book Obviously you guys have seen me do this on stream before I mean that's that's good Quality paper. I mean you can take these pages and you know fold them over quite a bit before they actually decide to bend but um, Eric July says his books are so high quality and so what would a, re a review be without actually bending the book and rolling it up? And hey, does it does it deform? How far can I push this thing? Is it built to last? Yes, it is. So let's get to my <laughs> let's get to my overall rating. You know, guys, my rating is simple here on the channel: buy or not buy. Right? I don't like rating stuff one out of ten. I think that the best way to rate something is would I spend my hard earned dollars on this book again, or better yet, would I spend my hard earned dollars? on the third one because of what this book offered. Yes, yes I would. This is a buy. I would say this is an absolute buy. Um, is this, this is more of a buy than the first one. Whatever Eric learned, whatever, whatever tips or things that people told him or whoever he listened to about the first one, okay? You can tell he took it to heart. Uh, things are a little bit better in this one. It's action-packed almost from start to finish. Um, the last ha half to third, half to third maybe? Let me flip. Oh, probably about the last third of the book is really, really action-packed. Very fun and right up my alley when it comes to uh, a lot of what I think of in superhero stories. So guys, this has been my spoiler-free review. I apologize with all the ums and ahs, but... That's what you get when I have to filter myself. So, have you guys checked out Isom 2 yet? What do you guys think about it? And I will be doing a spoiler review going over the book in depth. as will give me another chance to read through it. I will not be reading Isom number one again for that because I've, I've read Isom number one a few times. I'll just be reading this so that way hopefully I can get the spoiler review out to you guys tomorrow. But... For those of you who have read it, let me know what you think. For those of you who haven't read it, 
What are your hopes? What are some things? Did I say anything in this spoiler-free review that might have put you off, that might have put you on? Let me know what you guys think. And as always, guys, until next time. It's good. You should go buy it. It's really good, actually. It's better than the first one, I think. Cheers, everybody. Thank you all so much for checking out this video. And I would ask, beg, borrow, and steal just to get you guys to click the links down in the description below to join my Gilded server and my drinkwithcrazy.locals.com. Oh, and by the way, just in case you guys didn't know, I'm also over on Rumble as well. So click that link while you're down there. See you next time.